thing, thing after thing, thing, thing after thing, thing, thing. The things I've got going on here just churn out, thing after thing. What's happening, you two people? Dead Duck here with this awesome bamboo powered super furnace. The thing that makes this one really, really cool is that we've got these hopper minecarts running along the top here for collection so we can um, kind of maximize our collection area. Um, and obviously, as the name implies, it's got a turbo furnace on the bottom of it. So you basically, you're using this bamboo for fuel um, to power these furnaces. And I think it's really, really cool. Um, I spent a little while designing um, a few bits and pieces. I came up with this little idea over here. Um, I did build this one first. This was the first design that I had going on. Um, I liked it, to be fair. I did like it, but it cost way, way too much, um, way, way too many resources to be um, efficient in that way. So, but I do like that piston pusher wall. It's it's so cool. Um, I'd probably build this one, but the thing about it is, um, you can only extend it really um, to nine. So uh, the yield is not really worth the price of the resources. So it's relatively simple to make. It's relatively resource friendly, but it is fairly effective. Um, and I think it's just really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to build it right now. Okay, so let me tell you what you're gonna need for this one. Um, you're gonna need 15 dirt box, two redstone torches, some redstone dust, I don't know, bring a couple of stacks, um, a couple of stacks of blocks of choice, whatever you want, 15 sticky pistons, a lever, a button, three comparators, 19 repeaters, 15 furnaces, 15 dispensers, 15 hopper minecarts, three chests and 76 hoppers. Yes, you need 76. There's a lot of hoppers, uh, but that, to be fair, is mainly um, for the furnace system, so we'll let it off. Okay, so the first thing you need is 15 blocks in a line like this. The next thing you wanna do is take your dispensers and just put these all along the top of this line, like this. Then you wanna take your dirt blocks and just run them across the front like that. After that, we just need to take our block of choice and chuck that along the back. You want to chuck another line in like that, and then we can go ahead and break these blocks because we don't need them anymore. Now, you want to grab your repeaters and just chuck those guys in to the back of the dispensers all along the line like so. Then you grab your redstone dust and just bring that all the way across like that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take your block of choice and just come five off the back here like this. One, two, three, four, five. You want to put a comparator on the end here like this. Then you want to chuck a redstone repeater there like that and just bring those together with redstone dust. Next thing you want to do is take that off a tick because we didn't mean to do that. The <laughs> next thing you want to do is just take two blocks here, chuck them on the side, link them up with redstone dust. One more block here with a lever on it and we should find that we get ourselves a clock. Just put that on subtract. And there we go, perfect. The next thing that we want to do is put our piston pusher wall in. Um, so we need to just build one off the back here, like so, off the redstone, and just put some blocks across the back here like that, just so that we can shove some sticky pistons off the back like so. And voila. Right, we also want to put a line of blocks across the faces of here like that, just to smash the bamboo. To pieces so that we can collect it all down here um right so what we want to do now is take our redstone dust and just run that all along the top of these pistons like so then we want to take a block of choice and just put that there with a repeater another block of choice there and now we just want a button now we don't need these blocks here so we can get rid of those and then you should have something that looks something like that so the next thing we want to do is take our block of choice and just put one there like so and take your hoppers and just run a line all along the front of this thing like that then just take your hoppers again and just put two down here like this off the bottom of that like that next thing is take your block of choice you want to build one off the back here and then build two down from here take your hoppers and just put a line in going all the way back to the beginning hoppers like this get rid of this hopper 
So just feed that straight into there like that because this is going to be our super smelter. Uh, it's the beginning of the feeding system for the fuel slot. So what we're going to do now is just take our furnaces and we want to put these furnaces one block down and one block forward like that. So they want to be exactly there. Just run them all the way back to the other side like this. Now we want to take our hoppers and we just want to plug some hoppers straight into the back of these like this underneath those hoppers that we just placed like that. Now you want to take your block of choice and just chuck it there like that. You want to take a comparator put that one there like that. Now you want to build one block up and in front like that. Now we need a redstone torch. You just want to put that right there like that, block of choice there, repeater there, and then block of choice running all the way along the back of these hoppers like so. Just tie it all together with some redstone dust just to lock those hoppers off like that. Now we want to do pretty much the same thing again but on this side, but we're going to go in from the top of these um, furnaces this time. So. Let's just put our hoppers straight into the top of these furnaces, like so. Now you just want to take your block, and you want to put that there, like that. Now you just want to take your hoppers, and then just run them into that block, and right the way back to the beginning again, like that. Now we just want to take a chest, and bang in a chest up on the top here, right there. Lovely. Right, so now we want to take a block. Well, just, we'll leave this block in there, really. And then just put your chuck a comparator right there. Same thing again, building one block up, one block forward. We want to take a redstone torch again. Put that there. A block like that. A repeater across like that. And then build these blocks again all the way across. And just tie it all together once again with some redstone dust like that. Now we want to take a chest. And we want to put a chest, one off the front of this and one below it. So that's where you want a chest. Another line of hoppers going all the way underneath these furnaces like that. Now this, I suppose, isn't essential. You can collect your smelted items out of the furnaces if you'd like. Uh, if you really want to um, get XP, I don't know if you can still get XP, I never bother, I just put it straight into this chest here, so you can collect it all nicely there like that, and that is this thing pretty much done. All we got to do now is put our hopper minecart system in. Um, the way we do that is just take your block of choice, build it off this chest like so, and bring that all the way back to this side. Now you want to take your powered rails and you want to do them two by two, every other line like this just so they don't link together I don't actually know if I can place them on top of that I can't so just break that chest out for now and just lay these in like this and now you want to fill in the gaps with your track like this and we can now completely get rid of this line here now some of this stuff is going to go into the furnace system <laughs> I'm sure but we can take that out in a minute if I don't forget, okay, so you'll end up with something like that. We can just put our chest back in there now. But just put your chest in there again like that. Right, so the next thing we want to do now is take our bamboo and just chuck that in along your grass like this. And now for the most tricky part, which isn't really that tricky, so don't worry about it. Just lay in your hopper minecarts along like this. Now, you just want to come down here and sort of nudge them along like this, and just nudge them slowly along. And what we want to do is get them to drop on the grass. So, they want to drop on the grass, but they still want to be over the hopper um, with the track on it that we've just laid. So, like that, as you see them drop, like so, and just do that to all of them. Don't worry if your uh, my carts start turning left and right, it doesn't really matter. So long as they are touching hopper and grass, you'll be fine. Like that. That one's a bit dodgy. I might take that out and do that again. That one's cool. There's a few dodgy ones, but I think they're all right. So long as they're not too far over, I think we'll be fine. Um, it looks okay to me. Right, so once you've got all of that done, you just want to build a wall around these carts like this. 
obviously you will not be able to go all the way down so that will be fine and you want to build this up now as high as bamboo will grow um, so I don't really know exactly how high bamboo will grow um, so I'm just gonna do it roughly for now if you want to be super like precise and measure it out or like on wiki or whatever you can do um, but I'm just gonna chuck this roof up here like this Once you've done that, just make sure you chuck a roof over this thing so no bamboo can escape whatsoever. Um, and that is pretty much done, guys. All you got to do then is make sure that your dispensers are full of bone meal. And then we can give this thing a little test. So let's chuck the clock on and grow up our bamboo like that all the way to the top. And now we're going to mash this button and all of our bamboo should just drop straight down into our hopper my cart so there's none wasted and this is where you're gonna this is where your item input is gonna be so just chuck that in there like that and now we should see all of our furnaces just turn on and begin to smelt all of our items there we go i don't know why these have not turned on why oh that's why there we go absolutely perfect and that will just smelt like hell so there you go guys, I think this thing is pretty awesome. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want a tutorial done, please just put that down in the comments somewhere. And that is pretty much all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dead Duck out. Cheers.